Hey guys, Jameson Randy here with the Road Trip Angler, and I wanted to quickly share with you what I found success on when we were in Louisiana fishing out of pack kayak rentals. Now we were chasing redfish and they were super shallow. We had a lot of wind coming out of the north and it was pushing all the water off of those flats. Some of the fish even had their backs out of the water. So I chose to use a pretty subtle presentation that I had good accuracy with because I was doing a lot of sight fishing. The entire time I was there, I used one setup, one rod and reel, one bait. I don't even think I had to retie at any point. So it was pretty simple. And even though I took several rods with me out on the water, I found myself only using this one setup. <laughs> that setup was a four inch diesel minnow from Z-Man in the redfish toad color, which seems appropriate because we were catching some toad redfish. And I had that rigged on a chin locks, which is also from Z-Man. It's a Z-Man chin locks hook in the eighth ounce four alt setup. So very simple weedless setup that I could cast up against the grass, bring out, and it's gonna be right at the surface because the Z-Man plastic is very buoyant and tends to float higher you can get away with weighting that hook a little bit. You don't want too much weight when those fish are super shallow like that because you want to have a very natural presentation. So simply by lifting the rod tip, I was able to kind of reel that across the surface and then slow it down or even you know, kill it right in front of those fish. And I had a lot of success with that setup. Woo! Now I had that rigged with 20 pound gold label fluorocarbon leader. You can also use the inshore leader. I just happen to have gold label already rigged on this rod. So I tied on to it using a non-slip loop knot to give my bait a little bit better presentation. And I had that Stealth Gray Smackdown, 20 pound test Seaguar Smackdown in the Stealth Gray. On the reel, about a 3000 series reel. I didn't need a lot of line. I wasn't making long cast. Again, I was sight fishing, although the fish are pretty powerful. So having that little extra drag and having that 20 pound Smackdown you know, gave me a lot of confidence, especially around oysters or if they were getting tangled up in the boat and whatnot. For my rod setup, I love the Judge Blank from Team Rain Shadow. The Judge is a crankbait rod, but I have this one particularly set up in a spinning scenario or a spinning setup, and that's a seven foot uh, medium setup, and it's moderate fast, meaning it's gonna have a little softer tip. I like a moderate rod, especially when I'm dealing with fish that are gonna be running around the boat. I just feel like from a kayak, having a little bit more moderate action or moderate fast action allows you to get away with a lot more and it just tends to work really well. But the nice thing about this setup is it's got a graphite uh, kind of backbone area. It transitions from glass into that area down here. It's carbon wrapped. It's got a lot of strength in that backbone. So when I'm setting those hooks on those bigger redfish, I don't have to worry about getting the good hook penetration, getting that good hook up and fighting those bigger fish, even though this is a medium rod. And in the net. <laughs> that was my go-to setup in Louisiana at Pat Kayak Rentals. Really just that one rod and reel setup. So to recap that really quickly, I used a four inch Redfish Toad Z-Man diesel minnow rigged on that chin locks hook in a four alt eight ounce weight tied on to 20 pound fluorocarbon gold label leader. And I used that 20 pound smack down in the stealth gray for my line. Again, that was on the Rain Shadow Judge, which is seven foot medium heavy with a moderate fast action. And all that was on the Shimano 3000 here. This is the Vanford 3000, so it's got a smooth drag. It's gonna hold up in salt water. And that was the only rod and reel and bait that I used the entire time I was down there. Yeah. For more tips and tricks and to check out all our fishing adventures, be sure to subscribe to the channel. And as always, thanks for watching. Road Trip Angler would like to thank our global partners for helping support the mission to get people outside and on the water.